welcome to my day. I'm Danny. And this is Isaac. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. They're pretty, pretty darn filthy because they were playing in the mud. Again. Right? They were taking away their mud balls, throwing them everywhere. I want to show you the progress that's being made. And tomorrow they're going to start framing on our new addition for Miles. I'm just feeling overwhelmed and blessed that EG is doing this to bless us. And, um... They're such a great company. Hi, Levi. Say hello. Hi. And they strive to do their best and to help others. And it really shows. So anyways, they just tore off the siding and the roof above our door. And the railings are down off of the patio. I don't know if you can see that because the sun's so bright. We've got exposed foundation here. See if you can see it. So they can see that tomorrow. We got some holes in the ground. So bright. Okay. This little voice. Uh huh. Never ever should rope you around your neck. Thank you. Okay. So things are changing. So we've already seen the wood. Over here, there's wood over here, and more wood was delivered here, and then the dumpster and the and the porta potty are here now. I think I showed them that already, Levi. The holes for the posts for the carport are here, and today, today it's crazy. This stuff being delivered, the anticipation of this coming has been has been. Exciting, and you know, awesome. you know when you're excited, waiting for something. Anyways, so today a giant truck came down our tiny little driveway, our tiny tight driveway, and dropped off these trusses with the roof. And there was nowhere else for them to put them, so they're blocking the driveway, which means I cannot get miles around the house. I have to go through the street, which is fine, because we are flexible people, right? Don't forget to teach. We are teaching our children that flexibility is one of the most important traits to have because things always change. Your expectations don't always get met. And that's just across the board life. Things don't often don't go the way we planned. They're either better, they're worse, they're just different. And sometimes that is the biggest problem with when things change is just the emotional side of it. Okay. So anyways. My garden box got knocked down. I watched it happen, oh, and I was no. like, well, it is what it is. We're getting a, an addition put on, and it's worth it. It's fine. Mom? Isaac's a little sad that my stevia plant that I planted got squashed, because mm. the stevia plant is what we call the candy plant. They can just eat the leaves. Where is no. it, Isaac? Where's your stevia? It's right, right here. Right down there. Under it. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, we'll just get another one. Maybe. I don't know what other herbs are under there. I had a bunch of herbs. That was my herb spot. So over here, Dave built... I can't remember what I showed you already. I guess I didn't post that video. Dave built a ramp, a new ramp, since we took down the other one. A ramp to get miles in. My dear friend moved all my plants for me so we could put these mats here. She made a beautiful shade garden over here. And we're trying to figure out, so it goes up there, there's some ramps in there. It's a little bit more difficult, and the ramp on the van will not open this way, because it's too high. So we're trying to figure things out, whether we want to park on the street, so the ramp can still come out and pull him up, because I was going to park up in the back driveway um, to get his chair out the ramp side, and then just come down here and do the mats on the ground and put them in. But now the trusses are completely blocking the driveway beneath the tree, so I can't even get his chair through there. Um, and yes, you're getting taller and you're growing. Good job. Hmm. Um, so we're figuring it out. When you have a wheelchair and a small house, you have to make do, we'll figure it out. And my poor magnolia tree. Oh, no. has a broken branch from the truck 
I knew it was going to happen. There was nothing to be done because the driveway is small and the truck was big. The truck won. Anyways. Stupid truck. So, tomorrow they're going to start framing and we're excited. And it will be a really big learning experience to watch how they make a house. Right? How they build all the steps of the way. It's lucky that you get to be home for the summer during this and you can see them working. We just have to stay out of the way, right? Maybe. We do. We do have to stay out of the way. Not maybe. Unless they like Because it might be dangerous. We'll play it by ear. We'll be flexible. What's up today? We should make a song of flexible. Yeah. Flexible. Be flexible. So I just was sitting around some of the wood and I decided to just write a couple of little inspirational notes on some of the boards for the workers and for Miles, especially on the trusses. I wrote some things about God loving us and God's being in control, in control and Miles being whole and Miles is strong and thank you to the builders. Someone else is here. <laughs> People just keep showing up at my house and I don't know. I don't know who they are. Hold on. Somebody was just dropping something off. Uh, you were made on purpose and I'm so glad you were because we all need you for sure. God has a purpose for your life and your smile is important. I got a mosquito bite. Oh, sorry. And uh, I'm really glad that you're here, for sure. Thanks for sharing the world with us. And thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye.